Hello everyone and welcome back to Polar Bridge. Today I'm going to play Step Swapper. So I'm guessing, or that car should go up, that car should go down, and we have a hydraulic face in the middle. We have two hydraulics. Hmm. It's not perfect. Why is it not perfect? I would like it to be perfect. Might be because it's hard to have it perfect in Polybridge. Because you would need to edit the save file right now to move the landmass to the correct spot. And so on. Things I don't like. We have 8 road. So we have 1 extra road after this. Let's add down here. Okay, we need to rotate this thing a lot. And it's at a medium difficulty. First off, we need to build wood. So the first car can at least go up the road. So I'm trying to even out the spaces in between the roads. Would be nice to have an automatic tool for that, but I don't know how it would work. But I would like it. So maybe you draw a line from here and here, and it evenly places the minimum amount of roads it can. Okay. Going up. That works. That doesn't work. So what we could do, or we can't do because we don't have a road for that, we have only limited steel. If, we, if we're going to rotate this, it would be good to have a middle point. So let's find the middle. He has made it easy for us to find the metal at least. Copy, flip it. It doesn't matter that these are one block away from being straight here, because on both sides we are the same. So that's the metal. We need the road to pass through that point. Or we need something at that point, anyway. A road doesn't need to pass through it, we just need something in there. But it's kind of handy to have a road just there. Then we need to lock that place, lock it in place. So if I have it something like this, and yeah. So now that can move to the sides, but not up and down. I need one more thing to lock it in place. So now it's locked. That thing cannot move whatsoever. Both of those need ones, and these two needs one, that one needs to be two, and that one needs to be two as well. So now when I the hydraulic drops, it should move the road a bit. Like that is good. Now we need to move it down. So use hydraulics here. And pretty much use do the same thing as I did on a level I played pretty recently. So have it I mean we have two pistons. So like that maybe? We're over budget, but let's see if this works. We have a lot of steel in the middle for the rotating part. And of course it breaks. Of course it breaks. Let's see, how far will it go if I just have that one locked in place? I don't think it will move far enough by a long shot. I could have a movement in the middle to reduce the amount of hydraulics I need. Because if I drag something here, it will move it less than if I move it here. And I will just do this to show you 
the effect of it. It will probably break. Yeah. Because it's too much force on it. But if I change the angle, it might not break anymore. Might not, doesn't mean it necessarily will. Okay. And this one actually can be a lot cheaper. Because we don't need it to be any fan fancy. We can just have it like that and work more or less like a cable. Because this thing just can't move, be moved down. So that works. And it's cheaper. And that's why I did, did it. Reduce, remove these parts here in the middle and place them, replace them to wood. Change the part here. So the middle, where it rotates, is steel. So it's stronger. We still need the rotation thing. Let's pick it there, almost in the middle. Have it like that, maybe. One of those things. And connect that one here. I would like it to be connected up here, so stress goes into the part here, instead of to the middle. It breaks, slow it down, when it starts turning, and we can see it in slow motion. The slow motion is nice. Okay, So that one breaks first. Could move it so it's a little more symmetrical. But that will work too. We're almost over budget now. And I'm interested to see how other people solve, solve this level. The road breaks. Could have guessed that would happen. Because if you rotate something like this, it will have a lot of stress on it. Okay, it moves it a lot too much. So maybe just have it. Like that. Okay, change it to 30%. Might be that it, it's not this. Might be that I'm totally wrong with this, but okay. Looks like it moves too much, so change that to 30% as well. That one breaks. I might do, or I can do something like this. It increases the budget. Not like that, but now it might not break. We're just a little bit over budget, and it all went to hell. So might not break is not a correct term there. Ten speed. It's moving. Lot of stress in the top one. Move it out a bit. Move that one out a bit as well. Speed it up. And I would also want to have time changing settings you could have. So if I press a button, it will set it to change time on a specific event. Okay, rotates too much still. So that might be better. I don't know. We will see. But I see that's the stress here was more or less zero. It's just in that one will probably be a lot now. Yeah. Hmm. Let's rebuild the rotation thing. Copy this one and paste it there again. We have that one. Okay. We need to move this part down. Or we could move this part up. Let's go it up instead. Because I had it down before, so why not up this time? 
me just one, two. That will be bad. I guessed? It didn't look that bad, actually. So lock that point there, so now it can't move. Yeah, that's that's awesome. That's really, really good. So how about these maybe 30%? Same length, but different angle. 30% was too little, so change it to 40% on both. Awesome. I think that was a bit too much of so 35. 35 it is. Almost. 37. 37. I could just change one of them, but... Okay, 36. 36 and 36 here. I could change one of them, but I don't want to. Perfect. Yes. Awesome. Let's get this nice little thing here. Which, which angle should I have? This angle or that angle? Hmm. Let's see this again. Like that. Or... Like this. I think this one is better. It moves a bit. Yeah, good. And I think that should be enough. Save it, and we have the whole thing, so good. We can see, like, important things. So if you like this video, like it. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.